So imagine you are going to you go to one of your friends, you're like, hey, what's up? And you, you stop pressing them. What are they gonna do? Probably not anything. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna hurt them in any way. It's not offensive to them at all. So what I'm saying is swearing has lost a shotgun. Based on my audience analysis, at least one of you said no. So pretty cool. I, I guess I can do this. Alright, swearing is the use of offensive language. Basically what that is, is you're just going to somebody, you, if you try to cuss them out, you, you're trying to offend them to make them feel bad for what for something that they did. Or it can also be used as an, as an emotion word. So if you're going to them and saying, oh my gosh, dude, you messed up my project. Oh, you, 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 you start cursing at them. So that would also be because there's no words in the English dictionary that can explain how you're feeling at that moment. So you have to use those first words. So if someone, so if someone broke you, or if you broke up with your girlfriend and she's extra pissed at you, she, oh, I can't believe you, bitch! Oh my god! Yeah. She, 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 she nagging on you because she has, she's no other, there's no other words in the English dictionary that can say how she's feeling. So, uh, and also the loss of words when you're in the middle of something you can't think and you, it's like when you're scared of something, you're like, if something's coming to you. So basically, it is when you lose what you want to say and you use the first word in that place, similar to do with the, the mouth. So, alright, right. y'all don't like this. I did a video yesterday to see if it actually was real that people lost as uh, swearing lost a shark buddy. So yesterday, I was pretty bold. I went up to certain, I was certain strangers, straight strangers in the Parallel Town Center and cursed at them. And I thought I want to get what they would do. So listen to this. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Wait, shh, 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 shh. Here, can you videotape him? Because I'm going to go out there and talk to them to make sure they don't come here. Public type of way. 
basically what that's saying is it depends how you say the actual word. So if you're going to somebody and, 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 and you, you just curse at them, they're going to be like, oh, all right, okay, they're cool. If you're with a group of friends, you just curse at them. They'll be like, all right. But if you if you raise your tone, what are you doing? You're That's going to have more, uh, that's going to be better off if you're trying to put some emotion in that. Alright, here's the behind it. Gone with the wind was one of the first times a curse word was muttered, muttered, uh, was said in a movie or national, or was actually televised. Um, Gone with the wind, 1939, was filmed with Rhett Butler and Scarlett. She said, where shall I go? What shall I do? And Rhett said, Frank, my dear, I don't give a damn. So that was one of the first words, and it got so heated up in that conversation that everybody was like, oh my gosh, he just he just said the D word, oh my gosh, that whole movie's going to get messed up, he's going to get all his money taken away, he just, he just cursed in front of everybody. It was, it was very shocking and unusual at that time. Uh, yeah, listen to the experts. Experts are around 90 to 100 percent, right, most of the time. So they say people swear for impact, but the widespread use of strong language may in fact lessen that impact. Basically, we've been using the uh, curse word so much that the F word is no longer viewed as bad. People like people just say it for fun now. And also, it's the fact that curse words no longer have an impact. So if I were to call you ugly or fat, that would have more of an impact on you than if I were to say, dude. Forget you. Hey man, what the hell? What's, what's the shit? That wouldn't <laughs> that wouldn't do anything to you. But if I would call you, dude, you're freaking fat, bro. You you suck, you suck at everything, you suck at life, you fat, you ugly. That would hurt you more inside than the actual curse word. And as well as lessen society's ability to set apart certain ideas and words as sacred. Uh, some of my citations are here. And Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, listen.